at the Beltway Bureau. And to the hotline we go. We bring in from Joe Donette Motorsports. He drives the number 24 Chevrolet in the Camping World Truck Series. Max Gresham is on TMD. Good morning, Max. Morning, guys. How's it going? We are doing fantastic. Uh, today is the last day that I'm allowing myself to say this, so happy New Year to you, Max. I uh, appreciate it. Happy New Year to you guys. And yeah. I know uh, I know you were excited about what's coming. First of all, did you have any downtime at all uh, in the uh, in the holiday break there, or was it all business and getting ready for the 2012 season? No, I had a couple weeks there, uh, off and on, where I was able to get out and you know have some fun and you know get away from the racing world a little bit. But there was a lot of business that went on as well too. So you know, it was a lot of play, but there's also a lot of work involved with this. Yeah. Do you ever wake up and say, you know what, teenagers aren't supposed to worry about business, man? Let me <laughs> let me be my age and let, let let lawyers and accountants deal with that. I know it kind of comes with the territory and where you're trying to go with your career, but uh, it's it's a lot of busy work, not a lot of racing work. A lot, lots of times. Yeah, it's funny you say that because yesterday I actually went home, or before I left my uh, my new place up in Kernsville. I was thinking, okay, well, when I get done today, I'm going to come home and play Xbox like a teenager and just have fun. And I get home, and I have to think, i got to do this, got to do that, i got to do this, got to do that. And it was 10 o'clock, and I was like, well, geez, I'm going to bed now. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, I still have that goal to play some Xbox tonight maybe, but, uh, you know, it, it, you're right. It just catches up with you, and it's, it's weird that uh, and being only 18 and all the stuff I already have to do, it's, just, uh, it's catching up with me in a hurry, and, you know, it's kind of a sharp awakening to the real world, so. It's been uh, quite an experience so far, and but it's been fun so far. Well, let's look forward before, or let's look back rather before we look forward. Uh, give me a little bit of an assessment of what you learned, young Max Gresham, uh, in 2011, uh, your time on the racetrack. What are some of the things that you're going to take away from last season that you're going to use to try to further your career in this coming campaign? And uh, the biggest thing I learned last year was just, uh, you know, it, it's okay to go fast, but you got to pick the right moments when you have to go fast because. Uh, that's what I did the past year. I just uh, kept my nose out of trouble and put it into the winning position when needed and, you know, didn't put any deep uh, dents on the hood when I didn't have to. So uh, I think that's the biggest thing that I learned is just making sure I have plenty of patience and knowing when the right moment to strike is. Max, when you're walking through the halls at places like, like Joe Gibbs Racing, are you able to, to kind of dip in and, and check in with people pick their brain you know ask them a lot of questions are they so busy doing their own deal um that that they're hard to talk to or are you able to take advantage of some of the you know the amazing experience some of the amazing talent that's in that building no i'm you know i'm more than welcome especially when i was over at the nationwide shop i was you know i could walk down the hallway and and i had to talk to any of the nationwide crew chiefs or any of the engineers or anything like that and and it, they were real welcoming, and it was, it's just a real big family organization. None of them have any issues as long as they're not in the middle of doing something of talking to you. And it was, uh, you know, it was an unbelievable place to, to work at and especially to drive for just because everyone's so accepting and welcoming that, uh, you know, it, it just makes it an easy place to work at. Is there anybody in particular that you kind of leaned on, whether it was a driver or a crew chief and engineer? Was, it, was there anybody who was particularly welcoming and, and really helped you out? Um, outside of my own team, let's see, uh, man, there's a lot of people at the shop. I couldn't name one that were just, you know, uh -huh. they, they were willing to spill their guts for, you know, just to sit around and, and spill and have someone listen to and talk to them. Um, you know, everyone on my, on my East team was very welcoming and, uh, we just, uh, you know, we did what we could and <laughs> it worked out good for us. So what's it like over at Joe Danette Motorsports now? Can you compare and contrast what you're dealing with with this organization and uh, going forward into this new season? It's been it's been a difference. I'm not going to say it's a big difference because I, I see a lot of the same similarities between between Gibbs and and the Danette Motorsports. But uh, you know, the biggest thing is it's not nearly as big as what Joe Gibbs Racing is, which is a good thing. You know, it makes it a nice tighter. Uh, uh, bond between all the crew members and the team, and uh, I see a lot of the same uh, family-like traits with Joe Net Motorsports. It's a, uh, you know, I like I like to be involved in something that's associated with the family, and it's just, uh, you know, it's cool to be able to go from organization to organization and see the differences. And I really like what I'm seeing at Joe Net Motorsports right now, and uh, it's going to be a good 2012 season. 
What were the three starts like in the truck series for you last year in terms of what you learned, you know, how the trucks differ from some of the stock cars that you've driven and and the style of racing, the way people raced you as a very young driver. What did you learn from those starts last year? (laughs) I tell you what, uh, running those couple truck starts last year, it was definitely a big change because, you know, I I go from being um, the, the top dog in my series you know, just having won the championship to go and, and, and run, you know, not to how I want to run in, um, in, in the series in my first couple starts, but it, it was a big change. There's a lot of aero difference between the trucks and, and the stock cars that I've driven and, and the horsepower. And then the tires, the biggest thing, the tire on the top three series is different from anything I've ever driven on. And that's going to take the biggest getting used to is just the, running that tire for, you know, 100 miles or whatever it may be. Max Gresham joining us here on the morning drive. He'll drive the number 24 entry out of Joe Danette Motorsports in the upcoming Camping World Truck Series season. We spoke with your teammate Ron Hornaday about an hour ago, and we asked him about you, and uh, and I'm paraphrasing here, Jim, so help me out, but I think he said he was going to whoop up on Max to try to get you into shape. Something to that effect. Yes. Yeah. What's it going to be like for you to work <laughs> with a guy that has the credentials of a Ron Hornaday, Max? It's going to be crucial, I think. He, uh, you know, I have, I've had a couple conversations with Ron. He seems like a real nice guy to me, and uh, it's going to be fun working with him this year. He's going to be exponential in, my, in helping my learning curve take off and, you know, go upwards. So it's going to be huge to have all that knowledge, at, at, you know. I don't want to say my, in my back pocket because he's not going to be there whenever I need him, but, you know, to have him available for whenever I need to ask a question. So he's, uh, you know, he, he's a great guy, and, and I'm looking forward to working with him. Here's hit number one, as we learned early on the show today. Don't ask too many questions that begin with the word Kyle. Um, <laughs> I, I think he's pretty much over that, but uh, it, it'll be fun working with Ron. I, I, w- I want to ask you one quick thing. You know, in terms of other drivers, um, are there good drivers, whether they be in the Sprint Cup Series, whether they've been kind of your, your heroes over the years growing up, are there any drivers whose style you'd really like to emulate, guys who you watch race over the years and just say, I want to be like that guy? Um, I don't know about in the top three series of looking on the track. You know, all the guys in the top three series, they're all there for a reason, and they're all very good race car drivers. Um, I like how Carl Edwards is you know, I, I like to see how Carl is, uh, you know, the full package. He's got the media side down pat. He's a great driver. He's got everything that's need. Um, but I like to try and run my driving style after a close family friend who um, recently passed away, but I've spoken. We grew up together, racing together, and um, grew up as friends. So I like to try and run like how he did. And it's, uh, you know, I, I like to try and do the same kind of stuff that he did on the racetrack. Season is right around the corner, Max, as you well know. What's the preparation like over there? Uh, are you guys ready for Daytona? And, uh, you know, h- how many trucks have been built? Uh, what's the situation there as you guys get ready to get the green flag here to kick off the year? Um, <laughs> they actually just got done going to the wind tunnel. They were first trucks in, uh, in the truck series this year to make it to the wind tunnel. So they are pretty stoked about that. And, uh, you know, we're ready for Daytona. It's not too far away, and we're ready to go. So we got plenty of trucks to run the season. we got plenty of trucks to run the first couple races. And, uh, you know, all of us, we're just ready to go. We're ready to go racing, and it, it's time. We've been off too long. In terms of goals, Max, are you a number-oriented guy? Do you say, I need to have – I want to have X amount of wins. I want to contend for a championship. I want to contend for Rookie of the Year. I mean, how do you – how will you quantify success in 2012? Well, I definitely want to contend for the Rookie of the Year in the championship. Um, you know, I, I like to look at it and say, realistically, I have a, I have a chance. I know I have a chance. I'm with a great team. I consider myself a, a pretty good driver. Um, but I also understand that there's things that happen throughout the year that may not allow us to, uh, to, to accomplish that. But starting down in Daytona, I'm looking to win Rookie of the Year and hopefully win a race this year. But the biggest thing is just to get consistent top 10 finishes. If I can do that, we'll be in good shape. Before we let you go, 22 races are on the schedule. There's a rumor maybe there might be one or maybe two two more added. But have you had a chance to kind of size up the schedule, Max? Are there certain tracks you're looking forward to going to that you think, boy, I can really have a chance to make an impact there? Oh, yeah. You know, there's a lot of tracks I'm looking forward to going to. I've never been to a track like Daytona or Talladega. 
So those two are going to be a new experience for me. Um, I, I, I love it when we go to Dover. I've re- driven at Dover in the East Series a couple years now and really enjoy that place. <laughs> I'm not look, too looking forward to the rock. Well, um, I've tested there a few times, and it's just I just can't get it down. So hopefully uh, I'm able to get there and uh, figure that place out. But uh, besides that, the whole schedule was awesome. And, uh, I, and I can't wait to do it. By the way, kudos on the website, maxgresham.com. Go check it out, folks. I, I don't know who does your web, but that is one of the best racing websites I've seen in a long time. And, and Pete and I see a lot of them. So is that, yeah. is that anything to do with you, or do you have people? Uh, my PR guy, John Close, does that stuff for me. So uh, well, We know John. Oh, we know John, John Close, very sure. well. Absolutely. He's actually, he's actually in Atlanta today, or he was in Atlanta yesterday, and today he's working on uh, changing it up just a little bit to make it even better. So, yeah, I can give that a look and also follow me on Twitter. I'm looking to get up to about 2,000 followers before the season starts, guys. All right. John Close, great guy. Packer fan, but other than that, he's a, he's a good guy. <laughs> uh, appreciate the time, Max. Uh, good luck this season. Hope you get a little time to play the Xbox here. By the way, do you have the connect on the Xbox? Sure do. I love uh, it. See, i got to get that, Jim. I keep hearing you, about you, it. You and I are dinosaurs, Pete, <laughs> compared to these kids. Are you I kidding gotta, me? i got my Atari to fire up when I get off the air. Appreciate <laughs> the time, Max. Good luck in 2012. We'll see you in Daytona. Thank you, guys. All right. Max Gresham going to be part of the uh, – well, boy, the the ever growing Joe Dinette Motorsports stable there. Yeah, uh, you know he he and Ron Hornaday in a two truck effort this year, Jim. You know I've I've, I've learned more. I, you know, obviously when 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 we knew that Joe was 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 bringing in Ron, it made a lot of people rise raise some eyebrows and and check the place out. Um, but that's a great one two combination in, in terms of experience and youth. I mean, and that's kind of you know it, to me, Pete, the optimum situation for a, a truck team. I don't think you. I think if you go in with with, with too many young guys, uh, it's not a great situation. And plus, I don't think you want to go in with all all veterans. You want to get a little energy and a little excitement into your core. And I think they've got a nice mix there. I think you're right. Let's hit a break. When we come back, lots of time for you. Eight six six pit lane is our phone number. Eight six six seven four eight five two six three with you till eleven a.m. Eastern time. It's Pete Pistoni. It's Jim Noble. It's the morning drive on Sirius XM NASCAR Radio. The Morning Drive. Uh, This is going to take a while, so go ahead. Sirius XM NASCAR Radio. Channel 90.